Welcome to Kwan's Corner. Today, we're gonna make another Genshin Impact food, which is chicken mushroom skewers. Let's get started! Are you guys ready to cook? Lately, I've been playing Genshin Impact a lot. I really love the game. And every time when I cook in there, I really want to try to make it for myself. And some of the food in there looks exactly the same as a Korean food. So today, we're going to make one of my favorite Korean street food. Dakochi, which is... What is In English? <laughs> Chicken mushroom skewer. I'm gonna try to make it look exactly the same as a Genshin Impact with the Korean sauce. So let's get started! To get started, we need about 200 grams of chicken. I'm using boneless chicken thigh, but if you don't like thigh, you can use a chicken breast as well. But personally, I think chicken thigh is so much more tender and juicy. So first, we're gonna prepare the chicken. So if you have a boneless thigh, get your skin off and trim off the fat. Next, cut it into bite-sized pieces. about this big and place it in a bowl but that's my channel <laughs> now we're gonna marinate the chicken so first get some pepper about eight twist and one tablespoon of mirin and mix it well and put to the side, we're gonna marinate for about 10 to 20 minutes. Next, we're gonna prepare our vegetable. So first, get some shiitake mushroom. So first, get the stems out. You can just twist it and pull it out. Next, we're gonna cross our mushroom. So... I don't know how to explain so much you learn. I'll try my best. Okay, get the mushroom and try to squeeze it a little bit. So like a like a little bend it and fold it and put it as a like a 45 degree. Flip it over and do it exactly 45 degree and take out the middle part. Ta-da! Do you guys see it? So do that for the other side, then you can make a cross. Like this. But this process is definitely unnecessary. I'm doing this to make it look exactly like a Genshin Impact food. But if you're making it at home, and if you don't want to make it pretty, just skip it. It won't affect the taste at all. Genshin Impact is a gacha game. So basically, you're doing slot machine to get the character that you like. And last week, they came out with the coolest character, Shao. I tried playing him in the demo game, and I really liked him. He can jump so high, and he wear a demon mask, and he looks super cool. So I spent all my game money to try to get him, but instead of getting Xiao, I got Chi Chi, which is my least favorite character. So <laughs> I almost punched my monitor and broke my keyboard. I was super pissed. I was saying like, no Chi Chi, no Chi Chi, I say I love you, don't go. <laughs> In Korea, there's a Genshin Impact meme. One of the streamers say he hate the Chi Chi, and after that, he got Chi Chi twice. So after that, all the Korean Genshin players say, I love you, Chi Chi, I love you, Chi Chi. So Chi Chi never comes to you. So I've been saying that, but Chi Chi actually came to me, so I don't think that meme works, and I super hate Chi Chi. Chi Chi is really cute, zombie, lolly girl. I mean, I really wanted to her when I started the game, but I already have a, like two best supporter, which is a Jean and Bennett. So I don't need another healer, and I got Chi Chi, and like I'm mm, pissed. Next, we're gonna make our sauce. So get two spicy pepper. If you don't like spicy food, you can definitely skip it, cause this sauce doesn't need to be spicy. But I like to make every single food spicy so I got this to give a little kick of the spiciness so cut the stem cut it in half who's your favorite character? 
Jin. More than Venti. My favorite character is Jin. Jin. Yoga pants! <laughs> <laughs> Power of the yoga pants. <laughs> I'm not gonna put this. <laughs> and slice thingy. And put to the side. Now we are gonna make our sauce. So first, get a tablespoon of sugar. One and a half tablespoon of jinganjang soy sauce. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of minced garlic. Two tablespoons of mirin. 2 tablespoons of corn syrup and all the spicy pepper that we prepare and mix them well and put to the side now we are gonna make our skewer skewer your chicken you can put more chicken or more vegetable it's all up to you but I'm gonna try to make it look exactly like Genshin so two chicken and one mushroom so like this and repeat this part get your pan and turn your stove on medium low and add some vegetable oil on top once the pan is hot, add your skewer. After one to two minutes, flip your skewer. Cook both sides of your chicken for one to two minutes. Once your chicken is fully cooked, lower your heat and get a brush, coat your skewers with sauce. But I'm not gonna put it on top of the mushroom because once I put it, the white part will not show and it doesn't look like a Genshin Impact food. But if you're not making for YouTube, make sure to add the sauce. And I'm gonna flip the chicken without flipping the mushroom and cook your chicken make sure to add a lot of sauce the more sauce the better once you double or triple or quadruple coat it turn your stuff up and place your chicken on a plate that's it our Genshin Impact Chicken Mushroom Skewers are all ready to eat! Eating time! Let's see! Oh my god, it looks exactly like Genshin Impact. Mmm, I really love it. Even though I didn't put any sauce on the mushroom, mushroom itself contains so much flavor. It's super umami. It's like umami bomb. And I love chicken thigh. It's so juicy and tender. I love it so much. The sauce is very sweet and umami. And since we boiled it, it became really thick and super rich and I really love it. Mm. And I really love the spicy kick of the pepper. It's not spicy, it's not like really like hint of the spicy. And I think it makes this dish thousand times better. So even if you don't like spicy pepper, make sure add it. It's super good. Now I gotta go use my resin, so that's it for today's episode. And if you guys like it, please hit the like button. That will help my channel a lot. And if you want me to cover more Genshin Impact food, or if you want me to cover any K-pop or any pop culture recipe, please comment down below. Then I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. Thank you to my Patreon, Mechanoman, Krista, Jackie, Nancy, Samantha, Shannon, Mr. Cheshire, Spencer, Gia, Joy, Sue, Lexi, Mr. Mrs. Gavin. Thank you so much for helping me to make bigger and better content. See you next week. Annyeong! If you like this episode, please hit subscribe and the like button. And if you want to see more video, it's over there and over there. And if you have any requests, 
Please comment down below, then I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!